so here there is second point of the chapter that is goods and services now when we compare these two words there is a vast difference between these two terms goods and services by simple example let's understand it when we discuss about the goods we have to analyze it just in a simple way that the goods is tangible in nature or not if that is tangible in nature that will be termed as a good if that is intangible in nature that terms as a services now what is goods goods that means the commodity which have some physical existence they are called as a goods for example if there is a chair in your house so that chair has some physical existence that means you can feel that you can touch that so that will be termed as a good when there is a thing about it now in economics they are meant to satisfy the needs of consumption when we are using this product we are using the chair for the purpose of sitting okay so that is for the satisfaction of your your particular need so that will be considered as a good now what is about the services when we are using the commodity and which are intangible in nature which are intangible intangible that means you cannot touch them you cannot feel them but you can use that and also this doesn't have any kind of physical existence so that particular thing will be known as your services so basically these are used for the satisfaction of your needs in a human life so that is the major difference between the goods and the services now there are different types of goods basically i have shown it in a this particular chart one that is physical goods and intangible goods that means the goods which are physical in nature will be termed as a physical goods the goods which are intangible in nature intangible that means you cannot see them then this will be known as intangible goods second is non economic goods and economic goods the goods which are used for the purpose of exchange will be termed as economics and other will be known as non economic next is durable goods and perishable goods here i have made one mistake durable goods and perishable goods now durable goods means which kind of goods the goods which are used for multiple times which are used for the multiple time this that will be known as durable goods and perishable goods are those which are used for single time we have to use that product for one time and you have to change that then afterwards there is private goods and the public goods it is about the ownership when the goods are used for the private purpose then that is a private goods and if the goods are used by general public then that is called as public goods next one that is consumer goods and the producer goods when the goods are only used for the consumption purpose directly used for the consumption purpose when you have purchased the product and you are do, directly consuming it then it will be known as consumers goods and next if you are using it for the purpose of making a new product then that will be known as producers goods so this is the basic funda related with the types of goods let's see it in detail starting with the first one physical or the tangible and intangible goods now what is called as physical goods some goods have some physical existence let's take an example television ball bat fridge car mobile phones and so on so let's take an example television so you can touch that you can feel that you can use that so that television will be known as a tangible goods or the physical goods if you are going to play a cricket you are using cricket ball cricket bat so that will be also known as a physical good now when this things doesn't have any kind of physical existence then it will be termed as a service example education for example i am giving you online studies so are you able to see that are this you can feel that you are not going to feel that particular thing so that will be known as intangible goods okay medical consultancy when you are calling your doctor and he gives you few medicines he give you some services and you become uh, good in that situation so that will be also known as a services given by some 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 of the doctors so this is the difference between the physical and intangible goods second one that is non economic goods and the economic goods now what is called as economic goods 
when the goods have some let's take an example for non economic first one goods which do not command or exchange value are called as non economic goods when you are using sunlight you are using air which is given by the nature which is infinite in nature you are not going to pay any amount for that then it will be termed as non economic goods okay and <clears throat> for the same thing if you are paying any kind of money that will be termed as an economic goods all the goods and the services for which we have to pay any kind of exchange value in the market that will be termed as economic goods so that's it about the second type third type that is durable goods and perishable goods now what is durable goods and what is perishable goods durable goods are those which are used for a longer period that means for example if you have purchased any kind of shoe so that shoe whether you are using it for only one time you have wear for the one time and now you are throwing it no you are using what it for multiple times let's take an example of clothes you have purchased a new branded clothes from a store and that clothes you are using for multiple times if you have purchased a bike whether you are using it for a single time you will use it for multiple times so that goods will be known as durable goods you are using it re repetitively so you are using it for multiple times that will be termed as a durable goods now second one that is perishable goods the goods which cannot be used for a longer period they are only one time consumable goods then that will be termed as a perishable goods example if you have taken a packet of milk from the store that milk will be used for few period few period that means for a one or two day after two day it become perished it so that's why it it will uh, it will damage itself so that goods will be known as perishable goods next one private goods and the public goods so what is called as private goods when there is an ownership of the product that is in a private hand so that good will be known as a private goods so when you possess it when you own it then it will be considered as a private good let's take an example you have purchased a packet of biscuit so the ownership on that biscuit will be yours whatever you do with that particular biscuit that is in your hand because it's a private good now not what is public good when you use when uh, there are many individuals you are using the product for a same time so that will be considered as a public good let's take an example if there is a housing society and there is a garden in that so you can is, use it for a multiple time many people on a same time use that particular thing so that termed as a public goods so what is the difference between the private goods and the public goods the private goods are privately owned by the people and the public goods are owned by the government only owned by the government or collectively by the group of people okay so these are the two different examples now next one that is consumers goods and the producer goods now what is called as consumer goods when the use are the goods are used for directly consumption directly or indirectly for the satisfaction of human wants then that will be termed as a consumer goods for example if you went to the hotel and you purchase any kind of food and you directly use it for the consumption to satisfy your hunger so that will be termed as a consumer goods okay now what is producer goods when there is not direct consumption of the product there is one also there is also one intermediate state in between for example you are using some utensils to make a particular food then that will be termed as a producer goods that means there is one also intermediate stage in which you are using that product and afterwards you are going to get the consumers goods okay for example you purchase some cotton and you make the cloth from that afterwards when you make the cloth you are going to use the clothes you are not going to use the cottons so that will be termed as a producer goods i hope you have understood this basic concept related with the types of 